right now because I placed the guitar thing and it wouldn't let me do it. I have to uh, finish the quest with uh, Sophia first. I don't want to. I don't want to scrap her computer. I want to finish her storyline. She's an achievement. Now I finish her up just to get her done and over with. As as I die. Because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> However, I want to move the uh Give me a second here. Party. Invite everyone to game. That's yeah, probably the best place for that, so that way I could see what the hell's going on. Overpowered Colonel Gutsy. <clears throat> Something blew up. I'm over at the observatory. Dude, that last video? Yeah. I haven't even... I haven't even gone inside yet. I've just been taking my care of the robots outside. I mean, it's still nice to even even some of the content, uh, normal content, is like new and different thanks to there being people around. Yeah.
citizens will not be harmed. <coughs> I get where you're coming from, but I, th I figured, you know, a lot of it is uh, lines of dialogue and putting the uh, NPC behavioral uh, I'm sure there's plenty of other... Uh... Somebody's got to go up. Oh, I got a legendary over here. I knew he was gonna blow. up here. Stairwell up. There it is. Did you just go down? Making sure ain't no more fucking guys around. I gotta repair my armor. Good thing I gotta head back to base to give to turn in this quest. If I hear another one. I don't know. I'm looking. Don't yet know. I'm looking. See him yet. He might be. Up oh, here's one here. Yeah, they might be down here. They are. There's one's down here. I 
God damn. <laughs> Going even farther down. Might as well clear the area. Oop, I heard something explode. You must have killed it. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, I see him. Research logs. Atlas Project Research Log 293. I hear more shooting. Mom needs Atlas. <laughs> I hear Atlas, all I think of is fucking Bioshock and Bioshock 2. You didn't like Bioshock? Wow. <laughs> Activated all the robots. They're security bots. They were they were programmed for this, but it's all I've got. I can make it work. I replaced the main lens. Mission particle analysis. I think the accelerator is slightly stable. I'm so tired. But I have to keep going. Just a little more. It's almost done. Should try it again. I think you might have a different perspective. When I when I really when I really allowed myself to to, to immerse into that game series, it was phenomenal. And it's funny because like I was all about Bioshock One and Two, but I was so skeptical about fucking Bioshock Infinite because I heard such bad things about it that once I beat two, I set it aside. I didn't even touch Infinite for like a year. And then finally, I sat down and played it, and Infinite was the best of the three of them. Arguably. Oh, are you 
just look at this fancy thing. Not even a dent on it. Could use some soldering to fit in this old console, but... Eh, nothing I can't handle. In the meantime, I found some sort of emergency supplies crate that must have splintered off while the ship broke apart. Might just be a crate of space food, but maybe it's got some emergency contact codes for the satellites. Heck, it could even be my personal crate full of my Unstoppables comics that I foolishly <laughs> brought with me to space. Hey, I thought I'd have time. <laughs> I doubt it. It probably all burned up on re-entry, sadly. I had a full collection. Uh, Remind me next time I'm at anyway, your camp, I'm I'll sure put one in. Astronaut food or something else that the USSA thought I might need. Yeah, I got Christmas presents. Before I go anywhere, uh, pop out. I got some repairs to do. My chest is red. This thing was so beat up. I had to fully repair my whole armor. Yeah, the chest the chest was red. But everything else was like at that point. I would uh, by accident. I didn't do it on purpose. Just remember, I've got a Mr. Peeble. Just remember, I got a Mr. Peebles. But I got the Mr. Peeble lamp. I kind of want that other lamp, the, uh, the, the, the one we just saw, the, the fucking Chinese Liberator. Nope. I only played it with you guys. Oh, hey. Good to see you again. I'm not a whole. I'm not a. I'm not a huge uh, fucking battle royal style gamer. I mean, I, I like this and I like Elder Scrolls Online. And I just downloaded uh, Fantasy Star t Online 2, which I'm looking forward to checking out. But beyond that, yeah, I'm not a huge onliner either. I, was, I, I got into World of Warcraft when it first came out, but I played it the same way I play this normally, just, you know, by myself.
Right. It's funny because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about like the uh, PlayStation 1, there was a WWE game uh, Attitude, and then there was a uh, ECW game, which pretty much was the exact same engine. And I remember, and I remember creating characters and you had the ability to like create your own like battle royals or, or shows and have everybody computer, computer controlled. I remember my friends and I would just create our characters, create other characters, put them in with the uh, the stars, and let the computer control and just you know we would take bets on who would win. <laughs> the one that came before it or came after it. I, I guess. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I 
Scott Hall. <laughs> this, this handbook doesn't even have emergency contact information in it. <coughs> I never expected to use this. Clearly. Well, we can do this by ourselves, right? <sighs> Time to test this newly upgraded scanner out. Found an old USSA beacon with a strong signal. It was activated here after my ship launched, which means it isn't from someone on my ship. It isn't one of my crew. The interesting thing is, this beacon should have lost power years ago, but it's still active. If you grab the beacon, I'm sure whoever is monitoring it will come looking. Let's make them find us. In the meantime, I'll cross-reference some data from the flight recorder and the scanner's readings. I need to find my crew, and I think I'm close. Remember, when you pick up the beacon, whatever you do, do not press any red buttons, do not ingest it, and do not sell it to communists. I think it helps with the side effects, but just not the major burst of pain. I, I appreciate it, though. It helps me sleep better. Before we launched, I had a lot of anxiety. It made it hard for me to sleep, so I'd listen to ocean noises. Whale singing. Always put me right out. Impact does help. Not a ton, but it takes the edge off at least. Thanks for asking, friend. Sure, of course. I guess <laughs> this is all ancient history now, I guess. Jeez. Including me, well, we had a crew of four. All scientists and engineers. The plan was to use the deep sleep pods and record the biological data. We wanted to know if there were medical uses, you know? We had tried it out on Earth already with volunteers, but not in space. It wasn't that complicated. Honestly, I felt like we had the resources for a much more complex experiment. But I guess they wanted to take it slow. That's unexpectedly thoughtful of you. I was just thinking about an old holotape game that I used to play, but they won't work on this console. Maybe I could adapt it. So, across <laughs> one lane. I have so many questions. Just... How? Why? I was saying goodbye to everybody, and... They're really gone. I think I understand what has happened from stray broadcast to some right. degree. I guess... I guess it was war. Somehow... This is the world that survived. I, I can't even put all of... This into words right now. My memories of everything from before all of this are so fresh just below the surface. I was just there. Roger. Stay safe out there.
Something like that. Something like that. Right. <laughs> right.
Like I said, me and my do that on the on the plane, pretty much the exact. Thing. And I remember doing that way back in the day for fucking Fire Pro Wrestling. You know, you could do the exact same thing on, a, on an old old game called Fire Pro Wrestling, and you create your characters and like we didn't we didn't do like the storylines and stuff like that, but we let the computer take it over. And just you know, we build a match and let's just see who they determine wins. You know what I mean? And and we were kind of a little debauchery about it because it's like okay, this person against this person. Taking bets on who's gonna who's gonna go over, who the computer's gonna deem go over. <laughs> yeah, they should they should go back to that uh, formula for for I mean, come up the 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 wrestling games that the the WWE 2K games are fucking garbage. Like wrestling games haven't been decent since the fucking SmackDown series. And even the SmackDown series I'm kind of stretching to, to say they were decent. You know, my That's all right. NWO or uh, WCW versus the World was a great game. Attitude and uh, I, again, I forget what the ECW one was, but it was basically the, the Attitude clone, Extreme Rules or something like that. You know, they were phenomenal game series. They were fun to play.
So, if the ship broke apart in orbit, they should be near. I was wondering if you were coming back. I suspect the owner of this beacon will come and find us. I know I would. But until then, well, I have something here that we should look into. I noticed a strange signal that was heading right for us. It seems like after the signal approached this place, it just... spun around and took off. Strange. Sudden. Think you could just sneak over there and poke your head in? If they seem problematic, maybe stop them somehow? I don't know. Okay, just be careful. I wish I could tell what it is. It just seems so unnatural. But what does that mean in a world like this? Listen, this could be a trap. Or it could be just a big misunderstanding. I can't really say for sure. Just be careful. It felt like nothing else. I, I remember spinning in space, eyes fixed on Earth, unable to look away. So far away, so perfect. I'm not sure they do. We had one of those on the ship and it landed with me, but it wasn't aggressive. I, I don't know, but they really aren't taking a direct line to attack me either. Maybe they're damaged or have been corrupted somehow. I, I did! Last time you were gone, I went on a short stroll. Didn't go far. But I saw some weird stuff. Just bizarre. Saw a giant, huge, greenish uh, man with a two headed cow. <laughs> he was selling things. Super nice fellow. Okay. He said he would stop by later. Said he hopes to check on me when he can. <laughs> well, see, I. I can't wait. It's. I always said that there should be a game. A shock. Uh, a, a, a pro wrestling amazing. RPG. Uh, for lack of a better term, a pro wrestling RPG where you create a character, Affirmative. right? And uh, of course, I don't know the, the, the mechanics so much uh, for video games as, as like somebody else would, but from like a, a storytelling standpoint, you create a character, and that character starts in the independence. Just pick an independent. That's what it is. Now, here's the hard thing about the game suggestion I have. It's like you got to get you got to get permission from I guess in this day and age it would be WWE, AWE and Impact or, or Ring of Honor to get to, to get to play along, right? Let's so that they're all represented in the in the uh, in the game. But you're working the independence, you're selling your merch, you're building your name, you're you're doing all shows that you can for different federations, blah blah blah. Getting your name out there. Uh, to be able to be uh, scouted and picked up by one of the mainstreams. And then from there it builds into those storylines and those those arcs. Well, even better, even better than hey, do it this way. Then, if the big, if the big ones don't want to play, fuck them. The end of the game is you get a contract. So the whole entire game takes place in the independent circuit.
I investigated it. Come on. But yeah, I've, I've always said that, and I thought it would be a great, great concept. But yeah, I mean, if the big if the big players don't want to play, then they don't have to play. That's fine. Don't lend your licenses. Don't lend your your, your talents and stuff like that. We'll make we'll make getting getting scouted. The scout saying that one of the big uh, three are interested as the end of the game. That's that's the finish. That's the that's the that's where you want to be type deal. And sell the license to indie fucking promotions and their talent because that's just fucking okay you're working you're working for fucking uh new era pro wrestling out of uh pets uh delaware you know and and their top guys or rocky mountain championship wrestling in colorado and their guys you know or or whatever what have you you know and that gives the promote that gives those independent workers a name that gives the federation you know, uh, advertisement, some royalties from the game sales, and still, still holds the the purpose of giving you what it's like to grind at the bottom to work your way to the top. And like I said, it's gonna have it would have RPG elements that it's not just in ring. Like you would have you would have the fight simulator, you know, wrestling matches, win, lose, or draw. We wouldn't predetermine them or whatever, but you would have to navigate merchandise, uh, navigate uh, work in the crowd. You know, uh, maybe do maybe do like uh, uh, dialogue options for fucking promos, shit like that. You know what I mean? Like things things to experience to become better Who? at. Who are you? You seem so familiar. Well, you look exactly the same. I never believed. I wondered who picked up my beacon. Well, I'll be damned. Emerson? Dr. Emerson Hale. Is that... Is that you? Welcome... Uh, back to Earth. I guess. Welcome to Appalachia. I don't even know what to say. I never expected to see you here. My ship crashed a while ago, and... I was fortunate to find someone who took me in. I'm trying to find my crew, but I've had some horrible headaches. So, your st this place. I guess you really dump in a modern app. <laughs> Decorating. I home squat in an old. I good smell. Crash. Says say hospital. Up. Can you help? Hey, scrap. Best to just. Move on. It's honestly shocking that you survived as it is. I'm serious. You know anything about the hostile it's robot? Seems that their algorithms got scrambled or something. Who can say? They used to come after me. I'm reading the it dialogue seems like choices. They have a higher priority target now. Expand your scanner to look for signatures at a constant speed. That should pick them up. They aren't that complicated. Thankfully, my friend here is quite capable of destroying these things. Shouldn't be a problem for us. That's good. I'm glad you're making friends already. I am too. So much has changed. I mean, you know better than most. Care to catch me up to speed? Huh. Uh, that will be quite the chat. You've missed a lot. And I still don't really get what happened either. But that's a talk for another time, perhaps. Anyway, look, I need to go. I'll be back another time and we can chat some more. Okay? Okay, Emerson. Dear Emerson. I don't trust my him. My friend and I have a signal to track down. It looks like it might be some ship debris. So come back later if you want to know what we found. Mm-hmm. Bye now. Yeah, get the hell out of my house. 
Dr. Emerson Hale. If my crew is out there, I hope it was an Soltron, huh? Probably one of the old USSA robots. Strange. I would have figured they would all be in standby mode now. But I need to know for sure. I found some wreckage from the rest of the ship that has one of their suit beacons. Maybe all of them are there. Can you go <laughs> and see what's there? It might just be empty wreckage, but I need to know. I'll search the wreckage. If you do find them, then we'll have to make room for them here, right? Uh, bunk beds, maybe? There would be three others, you know. It's possible that you won't find anything there. It might just be rubble, or maybe it's been scavenged by animals. It's hard to know. In the meantime, I picked up an issue of the Unstoppables from a visiting trader the other day. Eh, maybe it'll help me relax. You read comics before all this, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. The Unstoppables, Silver Shroud, all of that. Mistress of Mystery was my favorite, of course. I was hoping that the new television show for the Mistress of Mystery would be out when I return. But, guess not. Ah, uh, that's a tie-in to Fallout 4. That's cute. I, I asked her a question about, like, does she, uh, she reads comics, and she says, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, the the, un, the Unstoppables and the Silver Shroud, but my favorite was the Mistress of Mystery. I was hoping the TV show would be out by the time I returned uh, back to Earth, but obviously not. And if you remember, they were doing the fucking uh, the, uh, Silver Shroud TV show in uh, Boston when the bombs dropped. That's how you get the Silver Shroud costume. I wish I knew. My ship's robots certainly didn't care about me at all. It didn't even check on me, and I know it's song. Tell me about he Emerson. He used to work with me at the USSA. Seems like he started working elsewhere after I went to space sometime. I never expected to see him here, but I never expected to be in Appalachia either. Makes me wonder about why my ship crashed here. You know, I know it I'm had. I'm telling you, that guy has something to do with your ship's crash. To take it somewhere near certain USSA sites, but I don't know. I never thought I needed to know. For an hour, maybe, just before getting into our deep sleep pods, the Earth was stunning. Hanging there, alone. In the void of stars. Oh, I felt like I couldn't look away, even if I wanted to. But also... Hey, good job. I didn't want to. Alright, let Roger. me go do this quest. Stay safe out there. That's what I do. Stay safe out there. It's what I do. Oh, stop giving me missiles. I don't want fucking missiles. Useless junk. Missiles are only good for super mutants. Apparently. <laughs> Same with miniguns. They don't do damage like that for me, but they fucking melt me when they're in the hands of a super mutant. Why am I carrying a 50 cal? Scrap because I don't want the Assaultron head. <sighs> Alright, I got enough to do it, but uh. Let me see here. I gotta remember, uh... First off, let's pick my... Sure, I'll just 
grab that. I don't really care. Where was the weaponsmith? Perk. Oh, there it is. Gunsmith. I see it. What is it, Weapon Artisan? Okay, I do have it. And then uh, now I'm going to repair. And then... Bulk what I can bulk. What was that? How do I always wind up with that? That's like the worst one to get, too. The plans for that fucking uh, Mr. Handy buzzsaw blade. Because it's not worth a shit. It's so common. There we go, my third magazine is up, the Unstoppables. She actually gave it to me, you get a comic for, uh, for one of the quests. Alright, now... Where am I going? Holy shit, all the way to Welsh? Costing me 40 caps to go check this. That's right, move my microphone. Play with the microphone head. Speak clearly into the microphone. Go make it happen. People be wondering why I'm breathing heavy. Uh-uh. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Richard J. It's just Richard. Jay's his last name. Don't listen to him. Try and get me a group of things. I'm not going to do it while he's playing a game. She won't do it when I'm not playing a game. Hey! Not my rules. Okay. Yeah, I knew we were going to have some buddies in here. Hi! At least they're relatively decent level. He had two balls. You, but I don't see you.
I got what I came to get. Oh, you got quiet. Yeah. Oh, okay. station here. Jobs now or else. Now I should be able to run happy ass back to tent or camp. Turn this one in. The safest way to store items and equipment is to place them in your stash box, which cannot be accessed by other players. Hi, right, sweetheart, where you at? God damn it, up to the ladder, thank you. There you are. I was wondering if you're so That's it then. They're gone. Thank you for uh for looking into this. And for for being a friend. It means a lot to me. So, let's intercept one of the USSA robots that's heading this way. I want to know why they're doing this. I've pinpointed one of them using Emerson's tip. So, let's start with this one. I'll, I'll destroy the robot, don't worry. and see if anything about its signal changes radically. I'm wondering if it shows signs of expecting this confrontation. We make a good really team together. Do. In this world, it's hard to imagine how anybody can survive all alone anymore. I'm glad I don't have to be alone. And I'm very glad that I'm here with you. So I was able to flirt. I just did my first flirt. You want to talk sure. about your crew? <laughs> Maybe that will help with the pain. <laughs> uh, Dr. Bernard was our engineer. Worked exclusively on the sleeping pods. Very by-the-books type guy. Specialist Novak had been on a few missions before this one. Always seemed distracted. But, well, it was a stressful mission. Dr. Lee was our ship's engineer. And a robotics expert. We all went out to celebrate the night before liftoff. It feels like it was only yesterday. Yesterday. I guess it doesn't matter if it feels like it was only yesterday. It was a long time ago. And <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to talk about my family because, well, I don't even know if they... Okay, so, hobbies. Um, I had a small apartment near the USSA headquarters. Nothing special. I, I wasn't home much, you see. When I had time, I used to go to the comic book shop down the road. I'd sit and drink coffee, read the latest issues of The Unstoppables. 
I used to want to work for the Mistress of Mystery when I was a kid. But I did the next best thing, I guess. Went to space. All right, and can you defend yourself while I'm not around, uh, just in when case? When we were out the other day, I tried to shoot some sort of giant insect. Took a lot longer than I thought. I'm working on it, though. I'll be Good to know you. that you're military and can't fight a bug. <laughs> at least, at least the uh, lone wanderer. Fucking like you know, right out of the box was ready to fucking do his job. Right out of the ice box. Or not the low, uh, low wanderer. That was Fallout Three. Uh, the sole survivor. Get in. Make sure I'm loaded up. Alright, how far away is he? <laughs> You're <a> dick. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> why, why are you gonna fuck with the poor guy? Shit, how do I have a missile launcher that I didn't break down? No wonder I'm over encumbered. No wonder I'm over encumbered, bastard. Ah, uh, yeah, the bloody Gatling gun. Go get somebody to fucking want to actually pick up the shit. Sounds like a storm coming in. Alright, let's try this again.
Traveling to Nicholas's end cost me 42 caps. The meaning of life. Yeah, I'm trying to get this uh, this ally quest done. I don't know how close. Yeah, trying to complete her. Oh shit, we got those floaters around again. That's right, come out. Oh shit, it brought all the other ones out. Uh, this one's a legendary. I believe in me too. I just gotta make sure I don't know exactly where he is. Get the fuck out of the way, pup. Now I've got a bunch of super dudes around me. That's cool. I wasn't busy doing anything. Super Mutant Master with a fucking minigun. Am I allowed to loot now? Is that okay? I don't want the bones. What the fuck? And we got gutsies? Super mutant and fucking robot all in the same area. Oh, the gutsy is actually what I was looking for. Got his algorithm. Take the mutant hound me too. Not what the hell did I pick? Oh, Jesus, I'm over encumbered. That looks like I'm walking. Wait a minute, maybe I'll get lucky in this camp. This super mutant camp. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a workbench. And while I'm at it, let me just pick up more shit. Because, you know, reasons. Well, there's a cooking area. Get some skill from uh, picking a lock. Got it. That's right, I needed me a globe. I think that's another thing that gives you screws. Could be wrong, but I think they do.
Well, I was wrong. Oh, but there is a, uh... <coughs> Let me through. Thank you. I am nearby a, uh... Workbench area. So I can take that over and make what I need. Berkeley Mine Exhibit. Shit. Bitch better have my money. Right, give me the goddamn workbench. Where's that? There it is. Claim it. Claim it, build it, scrap it, get the hell out of here. Don't care about it. <laughs> what you working on? What you doing? You're quiet again, so I'm assuming you're in dialogue. You're in 79 again. Here, let's craft some food. That's it. All right. Taco 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 right. Now that I help make some What the fuck God damn it I'm still over encumbered If I can handle that, God 
God damn it. See what I got an overabundance of that I don't need. Oh, that now nah, that's not cool. Hey, if you're available, I could probably use you. Well, you know, you know the uh, when you take a uh, work, workbench, they force you to defend it. They throw a goddamn force beast at me. Totally fair and fun. He's up. And he's down. What the fuck are you attacking? I love when they're attacking themselves.
Alright, so... Drop the bone shards. Sounds like you're having a real go with it. Sounds like you're having a real go at it. How am I still fucking over encumbered? What do I fucking have? a way to four. That's barely shit. What am I carrying? It's so heavy. That would be interesting that, like, part of survival, you actually have to stop to use the restroom. Oh, I'm glad it is.
Damn, it's been a long time since I've been to Charleston train station. to stop us while you can right away if you it's have to be supplies to trade I can be of service Finally, I'm so fucking able to fast travel. would stop by and give you this emergence kit. It should help with your headaches for a little while. I don't know how relieved I am to hear that. The headaches have been uh, excruciating at times. I could barely think. Glad to help. So, last time we spoke, you both were tracking down the crew's signal. What did you find? It was a long shot anyway. It's good that you checked at least. But we already had one miracle when Sophia survived. More would be pushing it. I really don't trust you, dude. The wreckage. They had no chance. I just. Why weren't they in the main? Now the guy that's involved with I'm turning into quest. It would have been safe in there. Maybe that's true. It's all in the past, though. Focus on things you can actually change. For example, those robots. Have you found them? Ah, see? I told you. Probably a rogue programmer. Some sort of hippie that wanted to cause chaos. The robot signature was a partial match for some other signals in the area. So, I thought we might investigate those. It seems linked. Seems like a waste of time to me. You have your answers. Nowak, Lee, Bernard. They're all dead. Long dead. You're not. Move on. Live your life. Build onto this Appalachian uh, home. With your good Samaritan friend here. Lie low. You should do that. Appalachia's dangerous, and these wild goose chases don't what? do anyone any good. Thanks for the emergence kit, Emerson. C come back later, okay? I'm tracking down some more of them with my contacts, so I'll be back later. Stay out of trouble, please. I really don't trust that guy. I'm glad to have another emergence kit, but... I'm annoyed that Emerson doesn't think anything is worth investigating, you know? Speaking of which, when you approached that robot, I detected a frequency disruption. Maybe it was sending a signal. But to whom? It's gonna be Emerson. The signal is tagged with a code that indicates it is a high-security holotape related to the Deep Sleep mission. 
out to be something significant. This could give me some closure here, finally. Then, I can move on, like Emerson suggested. I'm not glad your ship crashed, but I'm glad you're here, Commander. Call me Sophia. Please. After what we've been through. After all, I'm in your... ship now. That makes you the commander here. I technically had some training with firearms before. Part of the military boot camp prior to becoming an astronaut. It's not much, but... Maybe I'll brush off those skills and start practicing. Just in case. Uh-huh. Sort of. Right before you killed it, the robot sent out some signals to specific targets. I think it pinged my console, too. It was hard to tell if anything changed, though. My headache was back in full force, so I had to lie down. I could barely see. I expect that another USSA robot will be activated and sent after us soon, so maybe we can try again. Yeah, we're gonna. Truthfully, it was a blur. We were sent up as a team, and we were in our deep sleep pods in under an hour after achieving a stable orbit. But that single hour? Oof. It was exhilarating. Roger. Stay safe out there. Even though you already told me to call you Sophia. I'm an asshole who doesn't listen. I, I, I can already see it now. That dude's got some involvement where nobody was supposed to survive and it was going to protect his ass in some way because of some wild experiment in space and he's the one trying to get her killed so she don't learn the truth I can see it already Had nothing to do with it, don't blame him. I'm trying to get build up so I can get there. Bear with. Oh, I know what the hell's weighing me down. Ammo. I forgot all about this shit. Carrying four mini nukes and 12 missiles? Yeah, that would be it. Now I know what the fuck was weighing me down. That was good. I haven't had a Choco Taco in a long ass time. What are you ordering? Alright, now it's time to do something I need to do. I'm coming to help, boss. I turned that portion of the quest in, now I'm coming to help. Cool. Good on them. I don't know if I can get in there though, you may have to come to the door to let me in. I can't get in there. There is no password. It's the call button. 
but I'm not allowed in that the red lines are blocking me. If that'll work. I didn't come into 76 with you last time, or 79 with you last time. Oh yeah, I did, shit. You're right, and you are team leader, so it should work. I'm at 79's front door, I'm at the, uh, the shack. Staring at the door with the, uh, lasers on it. of this right okay yeah yeah all I know is when I when I told it to, to fast travel me to you it took me to that code in? I'm only allowed, oh, there we go. Help team leader. What do you got, brain freeze? So you're saying it had a lot of chocolate. Okay, there's still... There's still juice left in it. All right, good. May have to stop and get another one. Another pack. As you say it. Might change now that I'm here. Might change now that I'm here. You know when somebody, you know when somebody comes into an area, it fucking uh, respawns enemies. Gentlemen, Johnny, I see some of your friends are here. Gail, I didn't name him, and I don't. Rich does. Gale. She says you got Gale because she remembers me seeing Gale uh, when I was doing my play before you jumped in. And I said, I don't. Rich does. <laughs> Where's that legendary you killed? I want to see if there's anything there for me. Probably not. Yeah, they made you blow through a lot of shit, huh? Why, we're here. Let's do it. Let's do it. You got me. You don't need them.
are you still alive, fucker? Who's this guy? Hey, Mr. Vault person friend? Go ahead, I'm just searching over rooms. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Besides a bed. I found a cap. A single cap. telling you. Yeah, there's something about this room that is locked up. The other one was just an easy door to open. What's fun is I get to do this on my own when, uh, when I get to this point. But again, I'm probably going to do it as a settlers, like you said. Yeah. Why would you? What would you? Why, why would you not be online? You're always online. There's another one that's locked up. Yeah, but you don't have a reason to not play the game. <laughs> that's why I never took on 94 because I never had anybody to do it with now I miss the opportunity and that sucks we need to put together a crew like uh, on PS4 I was so successful on PS4 because I had a full crew you know like enough people that we had f three different parties of four playing together you know what I mean? On here, it was just me, you, and your boy. And then your boy disappeared, and it was just me and you, and then you stopped playing, so it was just me. Then I stopped playing. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> the only thing I have to be careful with my Xbox is my AC adapter starting to act weird like when it gets uh, oh, overheating it'll shut itself off I have to order a new AC adapter what are you doing that's taking so long oh uh, let me guess it's a it's a it's a hack Want me to take a crack? I'll, I'll take a crack. Uh, see what I can learn here. I mean, I've got a pretty high uh, hack uh, skill. First and foremost, do they not give any clear outs? Very few, it looks like.
got it. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I know better. If there's a plan in here, it'll probably be something I already got. Ammo, alarm clock, broken lamp. This wasn't worth that. There was somebody playing hangman over here, though. You see on the wall, the blackboard. Yep, somebody bought something. Somebody's at my camp. Yep, next door. Which this one... The, this door for you so we can get the fun stuff inside. Can I? Ladder. Yeah, I'll get right on it. Back in the vent. Back in the vent. If you wonder where I went, it's back in the vent. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Fuck it, letter. <laughs> yeah, I'm expecting something bad to happen. But will Bethesda do that? Will Bethesda do that? Like, we haven't had a child death in Fallout since Fallout 2. That would be my character. Wild High has kind of become that type of character. Yeah. Just like, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, what do we got in here? Some tin cans. Nice. Wonder glue and duct tape. I got some plastic forks. What is this thing that's like kind of stuck to the door here? Oh, it's just a fucking air tank, oxygen tank. Holy shit. Ooh. So remember when I hacked that terminal for you? Okay. <laughs> I checked and there's, there's shit. It's garbage. Of course you did. Uh oh, looks like another one she's gonna help out with. Something bad's gonna happen to her. Unless she's another one, one like that little girl in Fallout 3, the uh, Mothership Zeta quest. Where she was crawling around getting the doors open. Why? This fucker? I can kill him right now. I can peg him right in the ear. I got him right here, man. I'll put I'll put a blood stain on that white collar. 
I got no problem with it. <laughs> I don't think Gail will mind either. Oh, oh, she's still alive. Who the hell is that? Who the fuck is the black dude? No, I'm here. This looks like the place. Looks like the guy. I think you should talk to him, Pacha. Someone found us. I guess miracles do happen. Well, look at that. Oh shit. Fancy suits and all. Never Just the guy in a tuxedo. The power of greed, Slick. You're such a cynic, AC. <laughs> They're here to rescue us. I don't know how all you vault people stay sane being cooped up for so long. We established you're not an official rescue team, so. Are you here for the gold? To help us? Or maybe it's just sheer coincidence? <laughs> We're what's left of the Secret Service. As part of the no Treasury shit. Department, we look after the nation's currency, as well as protecting its leaders. When it looked like everything was going sideways, the government ordered all the gold reserves moved to Vault 79. We were put here to yeah, protect right. it. Like you, to be honest. Damn, we were doing just straight judging this you. part of the vault when the reactor went. The next thing we knew, half our people were turned into monsters trying to kill us. <laughs> Worse, the fighting activated the security systems and robots. It was either lock ourselves in here or die. That was almost three months ago. We're running out of food and water, so it's a good thing you showed up. Greed. Greed wins every time. You lose, Slick. Oh, man. <laughs> it really is so Will Smith day. and uh, Tommy Lee Jones. The only way to the gold is to restore the power so the doors will open. Once that happens, we can get back to the safe part of the vault. Normally, <laughs> I'd put a bullet in you if you tried to take our gold. But there's been enough death lately, and I'm not sure I'd win that battle. So the gold is yours, if you can get us out of here. I can open the door to the reactor using emergency power, but that's it. There you go. Yeah, but Ryan wouldn't be so straight. <laughs> I take Rara back to Meg and wait with her. No need for us here. Do we have to? I want to sneak around some more, fight more robos, and find the treasure. No, Rara, we go. Too much radiation there. You <laughs> like <laughs> I got it. Hold on. Yeah, I've, I've always got my uh, locks and my hacks max. Because I never know what I'm going to run into. A hollow, I'm taking the hollow. All the gold Play it. is safely stored and accounted for. Two years of backbreaking work schlepping those heavy bars. We had a little celebration, but then it's back to the grind. This paperwork won't pull itself out. Nobody else seems to think it's important. What am I the only one who knows that it is? When the government comes looking for their gold, I don't want there to be any issues. Oh, this digger. What, this dude get left outside? Thanks for not shooting me. I know I look weird, like one of those feral ghoul monsters. But I'm normal, aside from the new skin condition, that is. Thank God. Just like old I Luke. thought I was gonna die here. I'm Agent Chase with the Secret Service. Digger to my friends. I was on the reactor team when it malfunctioned. A lot of them ended up looking like me, except their minds are melted too. The ones that didn't change are all dead now. 
I was able to stabilize the reactor, but it won't come online with the radiation levels this high. You're gonna have to vent the air from the chamber. That will clear the radioactive gas and probably kill all the things in there, too. So we... The radiation right. made all of them into feral ghouls. If I take any more, it might happen to me, too. And I care because... Don't go near the reactor. If the radiation doesn't get you, those things will. I'd sneak around the edges if I were you. Either way, you need to get to that room that overlooks the reactor. Good luck. I'll wait here. On second thought, I'll wait on the other side of this door. Chicken shit. <laughs> Good job. There's a uh, Reginald J uh, Stone's journal sitting up here next to the alarm clock up top. I didn't know if you wanted to look at it. See, I'm a lore guy. What the fuck is... Yeah, we got ferals. I'll start. <laughs> Let me be as stereotypical American as I could be. Yo, come on, little doggy. <laughs> That's all right. I got rat sponge on. Just get near me and it'll go away. Shower on. <laughs> There's a hazmat suit in this room over here. Hazmat suit and uh, desk fan. And another desk fan. There's one over here. There, take that one. Next to it. And the globe. You wanted screws? There's a screw in the globe. So you can turn it on. Told you. Not that you need it right now, anyway. I don't know where the fuck you went. All right, you went over that way. Hold on. I see you. Well. I don't have an objective marker. Radiation. I'm hearing some ghouls or something getting up.
probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. I'll take it. Where's that? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, I know it too. Well, it'll, you know what? I'll pick it up and put it in the, uh, that's caps. That's caps waiting to happen. There's a uh, weapons bench out outside the door here if you want uh, to repair your shit or anything. That's fashionable. Get over here! It's cold! <laughs> Get over here! It's cold. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm so mad. I want the Raider armor. I know, I know. Spend the money for Fallout first. Do 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 do. Yikes. What you do? Whoa! When to go? When to go? Glowing when to go? He's dead. He's dead. Did you loot him? I just turned a corner and he was sitting right there. I'm like, whoa, what, what the fuck? <laughs> I just wanted to see how far this hallway went down and all of a sudden he's like, there he is. Like, son of a bitch. Pack of duct tape. Excellent. Pack of cigarettes. Uh, it's no fun when they're empty. I really expected more in here. Got a red button. Emergency ventilation. Nah, emergency ventilation. Red button. Warning. The reactor ventilation override has been activated. Please evacuate <coughs> to the nearest safe zone, which are colored blue for your convenience. There are 10 seconds left until safe zones are sealed. Safe There's no way this is the safe is zone. Five, four, three, two, one. Like this room. Door this room closing. is sealed. Okay. Oh, let it drop in here and kill Gentleman Johnny Weston. 
That'll be fucking hilarious. Let the radiation drop in here and kill Weston. Turn him into a ghoul. I hear the hiss, but I don't see anything. Doesn't help that we already had him. This just lit up. Reactor security terminal. Dude, I just unlocked the security terminal. But it wants to load a hollow tape or something. I don't have anything. I'd love to see what they're fucking shooting at. Oh, now they're shooting at me. No, 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 no. Not okay. Are you able to shut that down? You weren't able to shut down this reactor security? Well, what's your next objective? Alright, which means... Well, we got an assault drop down there, too. Where'd she go? I don't know where she went. I am not sure where she went. She went invisible. How far downstairs? Oh, there she is. I see her. Alright, she's dead. Take it like a fucking champ. On record, I'm not okay with this. Better be. Oh, nope, I hear another one. Too. I see it. It's down. Alright, where are we going, boss? I know, but I don't have a, uh, Gotta remember, I don't have a, uh, a pip. That's fucked up. I can't pick up the gold bars. I can pick up the surgical tray. That ain't right. Wow. Would you look at that? <laughs> you weren't joking about this being a big score. Makes me real sorry I've got to do this to you. Nothing oh, personal. Oh, he's going to fuck up. If I cut you out of the equation, that's more gold for me. Any last words? Just tell me to fuck him up.
Go on. I could use a laugh before you die. Hey, you promised me. I didn't promise shit. <laughs> Do you now? That's the first I've heard of it. I suppose it would be a shame to miss out. You were right about this score, after all. Okay. What did you tell him? Consider me mildly skeptical, but interested. But now we've got this whole issue of trust between us, or lack thereof. What do you propose? <laughs> all right. And for the record, I'm glad you talked me out of this. I don't know what I was thinking. I was about to make a huge mistake that could have cost me a new business partner. I'm looking forward to God pulling future jobs with you. Thanks for helping. I've got him life. right in the eye, the fucking James Bond wannabe. I want to do it. I want to do it. Can I? <laughs> Sounds like a good start. I know there's a trust issue between us now, but I hope we can work together again and fix that. Let bygones be bygones. You're oh, now he's scared shitless. a good partner. You've made me realize the value in that. Oh, fuck that. Let me shoot him. I can shoot him right now! I'm right here! Probably wouldn't even do anything to him. I'm kind of curious to see if it would. Yeah, it's not, not hurting him at all. Just wasting my ammo. I wanted to fuck him up. Yeah, but I may not be there to see it. <laughs> I hope I'm there to see it, but I may not be. You know the government's gonna double cross you. You get the power back on, they're gonna fucking lock everything up tight. Wait, Mercy, it's me, Chase. I might look like them, but I'm still me inside. Chase. Holy shit. Stand down, Mercy. Hear him out. I got none of that. I don't think the regulations cover this situation. It was the radiation. It changed me. It changed a lot of us. Bubba, Mac. And a bunch of others all became ghouls. Crazy, bloodthirsty. They attacked Rills, Shiny, and the ones that didn't turn. Tore them to pieces before they even knew what was happening. What about you? How many humans did you kill? Zip it, Mercy. I'm asking the questions here. How come you're not one of them? I don't know. Maybe I didn't take as many rags. Maybe I'm genetically tougher. Maybe it's what I had for breakfast. We should kill it. It's not human anymore. What the fuck, Riggs? That's Chase you're talking about. Not anymore, it isn't. That thing could turn on us at any moment. Nah, I doubt it. Yeah, don't kill, don't kill, dude. That's enough. None of us have any experience with these ghouls, but our new friend here does. You gonna save him? I'm not you dangerous. You've got to tell him that. Is that really still Chase? Can we trust him? All you, Vault Dweller.
I'm listening. That's good to hear. I'd hate to lose someone with a security clearance. Chase, since you're radiation proof, your first job is to clean up the reactor area. When you're done, come see me. I'll take care of that right away. Good on you. I see you have to go. Offer them the deal. One thing at a time, Riggs. First of all, thank you for the rescue. Our supplies would have run out in a few more weeks. Riggs had an idea. Once we get back to the safe part of the vault, how about we trade you for that gold? We can't stop you from taking it, and we won't try. But we have some advanced military schematics that we'd be willing to trade for it. That would be more useful than gold. <laughs> Anytime you find some gold, just bring it to us. Gregs will be if we point. want to. He's got a list of equipment to trade for your gold. Not just guns, either. Here's an elevator key. You shouldn't have to traipse through this mess to get to us. Good luck out there. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon. So now you're working with the Secret Service. Down here again. It'll be too soon. Then again, it might be like uh, Fallout 3 in the pit where you go to get the ingots. You only necessarily to satisfy the uh, the quest uh, for the ingots. You only have to come up with like 10 or 20 of them. But you can collect up to 100 of them. Come on, gentlemen, Jack. Holy shit. shit. I know y'all weren't gonna start this party without me. Ain't that right, 76? Uh oh. Name's Meg. I run the crater. And this is my crew. I've already promised the gold to your agent over there. Assuming that's what you're here for, you two will have to work it out. We had ourselves an agreement, 7-6. I expect you to honor it. Uh-oh. Now you're put on the spot. What are you gonna do? Are we gonna fuck up the, the, the raiders? This is... This is a dilly of a pickle. And she's giving you the mean mug. You done good, seven six. We'll be sitting pretty for a while. What a pal. I told you I liked him, Meg. All right. Time to haul the gold back to Crater and put it somewhere safe. Don't mind Mandy. I know she could be a handful. And don't call her Peta to her face. She hates that. Given how 
how successfully you led a bunch of scoundrels to raid a top secret government wall. He almost suspects what? Wow. I want to hear the rest of that. Really, Vault Dweller? That's a low blow coming from you. Hey. What did you say? I admit the security system screw up was on me, but it almost got no. me killed. So I hear their responses, but lesson learned. Now, I suggest that if you have any other grudges, you come see me back at Crater and we can hash things out like built. <laughs> Given how successful. Don't have the gold yeah, bullion. Right. That's dope. I can't requisition any equipment for you. I do now. We'll get it. Nice try. You ask me that again, and I'll make you fill your requisite. He's the agent in charge. Got to have a strict chain of command. Or this place is emergency field promotion. Every little bit. Agent Stern should never have had a child. That little brat is what a pain in the ass. At? Later, Peter. pulled it off. See, I knew I just had to have a little faith in you. <laughs> West started to defend Berkeley Mine Exhibit. No, I don't care. Gold used to mean everything. Placing my bets that it still does to some people. The world ran on gold. Gold comes respect. And with respect comes power. We can use it to influence a lot of people out there. Worst case, we can trade for some high-tech weapons and finally stop using homemade crap that breaks all the time. One way or another, we're gonna rule the wasteland. Uh-huh. Such a... We just got a buttload of gold, and everyone made it out of that ordeal alive. I couldn't ask for better results. I have my doubts about you at first, 76. My gut told me to follow through with you. Glad I did. Now, we take the gold back to Crater and stash it away somewhere safe until we find a use for it. The rest of the plan's the same as it was. Grow our settlement, assert our dominance in the wasteland, and kill anyone who threatens us. The goal's just a means to that end. One that's gonna make our lives a whole hell of a lot easier. Don't you be a stranger around Crater, yeah? I'm sure your particular set of skills could come in handy. Never know when our interests will align like this again. Speaking of, I never did ask you what your interest in the gold was all about. You want a dish? <laughs> Smart move. I bet these folks here have loads of the stuff laying around they'd be willing to part with in exchange for some of their own gold. Hell, we may even have some good stuff back at Crater we'd be willing to trade for. Well, I'm sure I'll be seeing y'all around. Good luck with everything, 7-6. Don't mind the others. People's skills aren't their strong suit. He's the sociable one. Well, that's the thing. You're talking about all the uh, the dominance and the dominating factions within uh, the Fallout universe. Yeah, when you really think about it, we're looking at the C United States Secret Service right here, right? The remnants of what's left of the United States. This is essentially the fucking enclave right here. I'm not going to hold your hand. 
I'm not your mom. I wonder if the Enclave returned to the Enclave fucking, uh... Ooh, God. I see it. I see it. I'm looking at it. He's over there, the bald guy walking away. Don't mind that. I know she could be a handful. And don't call her PETA to her face. Face she reduces the paperwork anymore. I'll be out of a frickin' job. Well, but he's the agent in charge, so. Oh, nice. My days in the field are past me. Now I get to handle requisitions. <laughs> now these armor pieces for power armor or or personal. I didn't question it. I got first class equipment. I didn't question it until you said jetpack. All it takes is some gold booyah. This guy's a level six. <laughs> Agents live by rules. Cole seems to have forgotten that. Yeah, we don't call him slick for nothing. Agents live by rules. Cole seems to have forgotten that. Yeah, we don't call him slick for nothing. Don't mind Maggie. I know she. I'm not allowed to interact with any of these guys. And don't call her Peta to her face. She hates that. Well, I wanted to look at his stuff, and I couldn't. I can't do it until I. I can't do it until I actually fucking do the quest myself. I guess. Hey, we now now it goes completely out of Appalachia or out to Appalachia. We don't have to go through the vault itself anymore. Probably. So I essentially got to see the end of that quest. Did you get the achievement or is it still going on? So essentially, we would we just watched the end of that DLC, that portion of the DLC. Yeah, it's back to it's back to red on me. I can't go in it now. Oh well. Up, oh, he just took off on me. Take a look here. Where's the quest they want me to do? Now that I helped you get through that. Ah, eh, fuck, do it this way. Data. R1. There it is. Watoga Emergency Services.
Oh, wow. So you have to start scrapping a shit ton of Western revolvers or start going around the uh, uh, train stations and, and seeing if you could buy the plans. The train stations. And I don't know if, like, uh, the other people like Watoga or the dude that sells for the responders or the one in Grafton. I don't know if they're still active. Or the one jerk off the uh, super mutant that walks around with the fucking uh, Brahmin. Something like that, yay. Yeah. Yet another guy I've never seen. Nope. I know of him. I know of him, but I've never seen him. with the liberators. <laughs> Defeat mole miners. Man, fuck that. that shit off. Confusing me. I mean, one nice thing about being in the medical bay in Watoga is I'm going to get the opportunity up a lot of cool shit. Health-wise. Fuck just said that. Go away, bitch. He went flying. What the fuck? Legendary Windigo. Executioner's Black Powder Pistol. One star. What a chip. Brotherhood corpses. I wonder when the Brotherhood's gonna show up. Can't tell me they're not. I'm just saying you can't tell me they're not gonna come out with the Brotherhood showing up.
That's why I was like, man, we got to go back to the Enclave thing. What if they returned? <laughs> yeah, since this takes place before all those events. But it wouldn't be House, because House was already like that from the gate. Kill him, fuck it. Watoga's train station, and I just picked up whale song. That's what I'm taking back to her. I do got that black powder pistol. I'll probably wind that up in uh How can I assist you today? By fucking off and dying. Where's that? Come on, wait there it is. No, nope, that's not it. Here it is. Get, gets rid of that, and I should be able to fast travel back home. Oh, why do I hear shit shooting? I shouldn't be hearing okay. shit shoot. Good to see you again. Strange. What's up, sweetheart? Doesn't seem to be anything on this holotape at all. But it's definitely labeled as part of the Deep Sleep Project. Huh. Okay, let's think about this logically. Either this is actually a high security tape, or it's mislabeled somehow, right? Let's assume it's real for now. They used to make us listen to these whale song tapes while we were using the deep sleeper pods. So let's see if we can dig up anything on the pods themselves. Documentation, user manuals, Dr. Bernard's designs, anything really. Huh. Something just seems unsettling about the whole thing. I'll start to investigate other signals, too. I wish that whale song holotape wasn't... whatever it is. It would be soothing to listen to that right about now. Why don't you go to bed, dude? Okay. Uh, 
I'm from Chicago. Parents moved there when I was little. After college, I went to the DC <laughs> area and applied for the astronaut program a couple of times until I was accepted. Oh, the folks were so proud. Uh, other than that, <laughs> I had a few relationships, nothing serious. Uh, I had a pet turtle for most of my life. That was pretty serious. I, I don't know. That's the high level overview anyway. I I'm not a weirdo, if that was what you were asking. They're strange. For a while, I felt like they were non-stop. But I think it's actually a, a sharp pain followed by uh, a, a moderate dull ache in a way the cycle of pain is sort of fascinating i wonder if my brain is thawing i, I don't think that was how it worked but i'm not a medical doctor dr bernard would have known he built the sleeping pod Just whale song, repeating. So pleasant. Headache sort of melted away. <sighs> this world is so peculiar, so dangerous. And I'm just amazed at the fact that life continues, you know? So how did you survive? All of this. Of course, in a world with so much death, the best way to live is to cling to other life. I get it. I know that I would have been lost without you, so that makes sense. And it's a relief, too. Society will continue. The world will continue. When we have some downtime, They only give us, like, ma seven major holidays, and then, then it depends yeah. on the employer if they want to give you any more than that. We can do some good for the world. Together. I think she just hit on me. Roger. Stay safe out there. So now she's talking about things we could do together. Yeah, Sophia. It's the astronaut. I haven't gotten the other one yet. The, the storyline's actually intriguing. Because the guy... The guy who sh appeared at my camp is the guy that created the sleep pods that they... The cryo sleep pods that they were in. And, like, all this weird shit's going on. And we're and she's got, like, crazy headaches at all and uh they're sued by whale song it really is turning into like a, a mind control fucking like i'm almost expecting this guy to be like fucking i work for vault tech you know or i worked for vault tech and it, it, you know everything was supposed to be a uh Ooh, much better than what I'm wearing. Much, much better than what I'm wearing. I got a leaded, uh, shadowed, uh, metal chest piece. Level 50, damage resistance 102, radiation resistance 10. That's going on. I lose a little bit of carry weight, but I can live with that.
Oop, somebody's attacking my camp. Uh. So that's what you're playing with. Shit. But you know there's fucking uh, super mutants like right down the road. They usually like taking pot shots at my uh, my house here. Oh, you found a death claw? That works. Some of the comments have got to be the, the, uh, the devs of Bethesda, like, trolling comments of the people who fucking, like, hated on the game. Because I just listened to her in the background as I'm putting more shit in my, uh, my vending machine. And she said, what happened to this? What happened to this place? It's so lifeless. <laughs> and you know as well as I do, that's like exactly what people were fucking saying about Fallout 76 to begin with. Where the fuck am I heading now? Where are they sending my happy ass now? Back to Watoga. Receive, re, retrieve the patent design on the deep sleep pod at the AMS corporate her, headquarters in Watoga. So do I. Leave it for somebody else. I'm still working on her. Yeah. My goal, my goal tonight is to finish her storyline. I'm curious to see what'll happen, how the story ends. Like it, it isn't even about like the achievement. It isn't about like uh, the the relationship. I'm actually invested in the story they're telling in this. I want to see how it turns out. Oh, you're out of the game? Welcome to AMS, future of mining. AMS is... Huh. It didn't like you cheating that out of the uh, cap system for fast travel. I 
hostile target detected. No way. I will take the steel scrap. Got it. They threw me straight to hell, though. My right, curiosity is down. What's down here? Whatever it is, it's got a little tick to it. I don't think I've ever been in this portion of the uh, building here. AMS uh, services. It's like the robotics building. Yeah, but I've been in the building. I don't remember being in this part. It's like they added this on for this quest. There, blow up on me. You're about to do it. Oh, we got a working terminal. Facilities terminal. Security installations. Avoid radiation labs. Ow, motherfucker! No shit! Oh, what an opportune time. Hi, bitch.
Yeah, let's check out the whole entire building. It's in your field. Let's do it. Totally glad I made it. baby rattle. Run a protectron to fucking turret. Bethesda was not fucking around with this shit. <laughs> oh, the game's boring, huh? Oh, the game's not good enough for you, huh? Oh, the game doesn't have enough content for you, huh? Not enough enemies for you, huh? The world feels empty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Fuck all that, I'm not sitting through all that. Where am I going now? I don't know. 
Well, I tried, I tried gold pieces. It didn't work, so I don't know if you could use, like, straight gold. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I tried smelt to gold. It didn't work. But you could try, you could try the gold ore and see what, if, if that does anything. Oh, you're talking about over there. You're, you're talking about at 79. I thought you were talking about at the uh, 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 Raider Camp, where they got those vending machines where you can deposit gold. Right. Yeah, I know about those. <coughs> Make you wonder why I won't move my cab. but we have the scrap. Nothing else to scrap. And, uh, up, up. Uh, let's do some repairs. Got to repair the... Uh, I don't know. Oh, of course. Welcome back. You found something related to the deep sleep mission? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Suspension of living tissue is right. Not sure about the cyclic energy transfer stuff. I guess that could be anything. Two things jump out at me here, though. Something about sensory data transfers and, and the fact that Emerson was the supervisor. What the hell? Okay, here's my plan. I found some old medical data from the USSA, stored nearby. 
And I want you to look for a copy of my records there. Something just isn't right here. I'm sort of terrified to see these medical records. I just need to relax for a bit. I got an issue of Tesla Science from a trader who stopped by recently, so uh, I'll probably dive into that. Sophia, I'm here for you, however you may well, need me. Right now, I think we need to track down some medical records. Then, maybe we can... Oh. Oh. Um, I'll keep that in mind, friend. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> Deep sl uh, sleeper pod was clearly part of some experiment. That is not how it was presented to us. It was supposed to maintain our ambient health levels, and that's it. Nothing else. The schematics say the pod was designed to help transfer sensory data. To what end? Tell me about the schematics Dr. that I found. Dr. Bernard was one of the scientists that I worked with in the USSA. He was an engineer, mostly mechanical. I knew he had developed the sleeping pods for this mission, so that wasn't particularly new information for me. But it looks like there's something about the sleeping pod establishing a sensory link between the user and something else. I don't know what that is. And also, Emerson was the supervisor for this project, so he absolutely does know what this was about in detail. You play holotape games, right? I mean, who doesn't, right? You don't happen to have Me. any, do you? Oh, now that would be a warm blanket on a cold night. I'll copy some games to your console. Oh, there is nothing quite like curling up with a good game. Oh, this brightens my day. Uh, have you picked up any other USSA robot yes. signals? The Protectron has been circling the camp. It, it hasn't approached yet, though, so I'm gonna monitor it for data, and then we can go after it. I think it's collecting data about us, so I'm waiting to see who it's sending the data to, if I can. All right, that's all the Roger. talk, talk, talky talk I can do with her. Oh yeah, my person needs water. My person no longer needs water. Yes, you do. Ah, oh, I got spoiled meat. You can't use that, drop it. From who? My character is hungry, so... Time to har harvest some food, that's why I have. Okay, we got some food. I'll eat it raw. Yeah, my character is content. All right, let's uh, put the armor back on and see where I'm being sent now to get her medical records. Like I'm, in, I'm invested in the story, but really this ally thing is nothing but a bunch of fetch quests. That's a little disappointing. All it is is fetch quests. Go here, grab this, bring it back. Go here, grab this, bring it back. Oh, there it is over there. Okay, I see it. Braxton quality medical supplies.
This should be fun. The block for this session option will mute a the selected player, block all invites, and hide your location on their map until you log off. Good to know. We are here. Well, it's been a while since I ran out of course, why not? Scorched fucking scorched beasts. And I am now over encumbered. But there is a bench here, good. Ooh, shit. That's all right. Shadowed robot armored arms. Nice. Nah, go get to, go get some sleep, brother. Good night. I'll, I'll see you later on. I think I'm clear enough to be able to fast travel back to base. <coughs> Can I pester you? It means making it. Oh, boy. 
That's why I asked, can I pester you? Okay. Not yet. Hey. I used to be. Hey. But you don't let me anymore. Hey. Emerson. What did you know about Dr. She's talking to herself. I oh, asshole's here. Both being cautious as you do your ex You're back. Emerson and I were just having a little talk. So, you got something for me? Here's your medical records. Transfer them to my console, please. What were they doing? Emerson, tell me. <coughs> it was a biomedical thing with Arctos. I don't know the details anymore. It was literally decades ago. You get that, right? It wasn't decades ago to me. Emerson, you need to make things right. You owe Sophia that You're much, right. at least. Okay, listen. Arctos Pharma and the USSA made a deal to create a serum. Uh, serum K, maybe. It was going to help with the Deep Sleep Project. That's all I know. I wish I could do more. Okay, that's enough for now. <sighs> Emerson, could you please leave? Maybe... Try to remember something helpful for next time. This is all recent to her. Emerson, you have to care. I do. I... I actually really do care. I didn't want her to stay up there so long. what the mistress of mystery would do when she was betrayed. You need to find that contract, I think. I want to know what that serum did. If this stuff caused my headaches, then maybe they made an antidote? It's... It's a start anyway. Just send me the location. I'll find the contract. While I was looking for the deep sleeper pod documents a while ago, found another location that might have stuff like old USSA contracts. I'm glad that staying at my camp is helpful to you. I'm certainly glad you're here. It really is. I know I've said it before, but thanks for letting me uh, crash here. <laughs> Why would Emerson want you to let Must it go? Hiding something. I need to know what happened. I need to know what he knows. They come in right, spikes. It's really pronounced at times. I haven't had one in a while. I wonder if there's a pattern to them. He What's Emerson's deal? He's always seemed a bit odd, honestly. Even back before I launched. We used to be friends in college, but people change so much in college. Roger. All right, back Stay to it. But I'm going to do it by stopping this episode and starting a new one, guys. So thank you for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did in any capacity, hit the thumbs up button. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out all the other great Let's Plays and tabletop content of Sound Dicey Gaming. And, of course, all the uh, podcasts over at our sister channel, Realm of the Mist. And if you prefer your podcast in audio-only format, you can always check out Realm of the Mist Entertainment on Anchor.fm, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, or wherever quality podcasts can be heard. I will see you guys again really, really soon for the next Fallout 76. Have a good night, guys.